Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Christmas presents I got for my kids, and I'm really excited to share these things with you. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you different curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's talk about presents. So I just wanted to start off by mentioning a few things about these presents and kind of how we do Christmas. So when we first got married and had kids, we didn't have very much money that first Christmas, several Christmases actually with children. We were graduate students and just fairly poor. We got a stipend, but it was for a single person, not for a family. And during the time we were there, we ended up having four, well, we had one child when we moved there and then had three more. So we were, had four children by the time we graduated from graduate school. And so trying to get by on that stipend was a little bit difficult for us. So Christmases weren't full of tons of presents, especially when we had so many kids to buy presents for. Most of their big presents came from grandparents <laughs> and that was about it. And then we got a real job and I was like, okay, we can, we can like buy presents and stuff. This was about three years ago. And so we bought some different things for them and they weren't necessarily bad toys or anything, but I just felt like, you know, they last for like a day and then they're, and then they're over it and it's done. That's all. They don't care anymore. And I didn't really like that. And we just had all these toys. We didn't have as many toys as some people have, but we still had a good amount of toys that didn't get played with. And it just bothered me a lot. And so the last couple years, I've really tried to become a lot more minimalistic. I don't claim to be a minimalist. <laughs> but I have kind of leaned more that way with the way I go about doing Christmas. So I'm gonna show you the Christmas gifts for each of my kids, and then also their gifts from Santa. My kids are all the way downstairs in the basement, so like a couple levels down, I sent them down there so they couldn't hear me talking up here. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you all those things so that you can <laughs> kind of get an idea of how we do things. So last year I decided I didn't want Santa to deliver these huge gifts. I was done with that. Growing up, we only got one gift from Santa. And so that's kind of what we were doing, but usually it was still, sorry, my voice is like <laughs> being all scratchy. It was usually still a pretty big gift, but I was, I didn't want to do that. And so we decided with Santa to do kind of just basically a stocking and that's it. Not everything fits in the stocking, but that was kind of the idea we came up with. And I only spent about $50 for you know the stocking and then the few things that sit outside the stocking and that's it. So per kid, $50. And then this year I spent just over $100 on each kid for their normal Christmas presents. It was about $130 per kid. I added it all up for you. And so it's a few dollars give and take depending on the child and what I got, but for the most part, it's it would average out to $130 per child. And I, I am so happy with that. I'm so satisfied and I feel like I got some really good things. So I feel like as we set a budget and really focus on that and limit ourselves to what we can get our kids, we get things that are more meaningful, that they're actually interested in instead of just walking through the store and be like, oh yeah, this looks good and this looks good and let's throw that on top too. We really, really focus. It makes us have to focus on what they would really, really want. And so I feel like I have accomplished that. And I've, you know, worked together with my husband and <laughs> figured out what would be best. So we're gonna try to go through these somewhat quickly as possible. <laughs> so this video is not forever long, but I'm gonna start with my oldest and work through to the youngest one. And I have everything to show you, I think, except just one thing. So I'll point that out. Hopefully I remember to point it out and maybe insert a picture that I think they should be coming today. So maybe I can just insert a picture of that. Let's start out with my oldest. He is a nine year old boy and I'm really excited to show you some of the things that I got him. So all my kids got one main present and then a couple games, a couple books and a few other things they need. So let me just show you so you can kind of get <laughs> the idea of what I did here. So my cut, my cousin, not my cousin, my nephew has all these melty beads. So I'm gonna hold this up. So if you can see, you, you take the little beads and you put them on here. This is a very large one, <laughs> as you can see. 
So he has this large one. I'll try to insert some footage over here of some that he's already made, some Pokemon that my nephew has made. So my son loves these. He talks about them all the time. He wants to be able to make some. We just have the very small ones, but he wants to make bigger ones. So we're gonna make bigger ones. So I also got this kit right here. So this has some of the beads. So this is what I'm talking about, all these little beads. And then you put them on this plastic and it has a few plastic pieces in here too that are a little bit smaller. If I can pull them out for you, then I have to put all this back together so we can wrap it. Cause that's what we're gonna do after we're done here, we're gonna wrap these. And so this is a smaller version of it. And then once you do that, you put like parchment on it and melt it with an iron. And then you can just have them, you can display them. My nephew is also, they make little figurines, like 3D things out of them. So that's really cool. But this is what he talks about all the time and he really loves these. And if we go to my brother's house, this is what he wants to do. And so I thought he would really love that because he's obsessed with like Pokemon stuff and that's usually what we gravitate towards. But this was something different and something that I knew he would really enjoy and he'll be able to do it forever. This, this thing, look, it's so big. It's gonna keep him occupied for hours. So I thought that would be good for him. And then he got a couple games. So I just kind of, keep a running thing on Amazon in my Amazon shopping cart of games I see that might be cool and then use those for birthdays or Christmas or Easter and things like that and use that time to buy games. So these were some that were in there. These were some that I also just looked up on game schooling and these are ones that came up. So this was one of them, Dog Crimes. This is a Think Fun game. I have so many Think Fun games because they're just so good. I don't even remember exactly what this book is, book, it's not a book, what this game is about. But when I read it, it sounded like something that would be really good for him. It's a logic type of game, so it's probably not good for me. Me and logic are, we're not good friends, but that's all right. So I got that for him and thought he would enjoy that. And then mental blocks seemed fun as well. So these games, you know, I get them for a specific child, but they're also intended to be used for everyone. They just all go in our homeschool closet. <laughs> and so then all the kids can use them, but I tried to give them to the kids that it would cater best to. So this one seems like a lot of fun. I had had it on my list for a long time, I think for the last couple years and just haven't bought it. And then I saw it on Rooted and Rest again, and she mentioned it in her favorites video. And so I decided this now is the time to get it. So we're gonna do it. And so they have little pattern cards. She unrooted and rest, she does it where you take the card away and then they have to build it from memory. I don't know all the rules. I'm sure there's multiple play ways to play, but they have a card and then you're gonna build something with it. So that seemed like a lot of fun. And then the two books that he's getting for Christmas are Calvin and Hobbes. He loves comic books. He reads my husband's comic books. So this is, my husband picked this out because I was like, you can decide what he's gonna get because I don't know. And then the other one is this Gadgets book. All these books I'm showing, I already showed them on the channel in a Christmas book haul. And so I'll link that up here and down below. So if you wanted to go check out all the other books we got, because this is what I'm showing you today isn't all of them, you can go do that. So this one comes with some pieces over here. It's kind of, it's a book, but it's also a kind of STEM building Lego type thing too. So it's like right up his alley. But then the book has a whole bunch of things you can build. So I thought he would really enjoy that. And then as a tradition, my kids always get pajamas. Sorry, it's kind of crinkly. We get pajamas as well. Like I got pajamas for us as long as I can find ones that will fit us. But I was really excited to show you the ones for this year. <laughs> and so they got here. I was worried they weren't gonna get here in time for me to film this video, but they're here. So this one's still in the crinkly paper and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna grab the one that I did pull out so you can see what it looks like. But you can kind of see it says the year of the lockdown and then it's 2020 here, but it has the toilet paper roll. So let me grab my daughter's and I'll show you the whole thing in one second. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't wanna pull all of them out of the package, so I just pulled one, so we'll show this one. So that's what it looks like, and I just thought it was so funny. Like, it still has the Santa and the sleigh up at the top, but it just very much defines what this year has been like. So the pants are the same, like, checker, like, buffalo plaid print sort of thing going on. 
So that's what they look like. And I just, I thought they were super fun and just cute. And then another tradition we have, this is the thing I don't have to show you yet, is church clothes. I usually get them some sort of Christmas church clothes. I usually make the dresses for my daughters. I don't know if I'm gonna do that this year. <laughs> so I have other dresses as an alternative in case I don't get there. But I don't have the ties yet for my sons. That's what's supposed to be coming in the mail today. So I'll insert a, some footage of them once I get them. But they're just kind of this yellow. I thought of the dresses I got have some gold in them. So I thought just like gold ties, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to do that. Like that's a lot of gold. And so I found these ones that were a little bit more yellow could be used a little bit more year round. At least I thought so. So that's the ones I got. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. And then the last thing I got for him that I just think he's, he's gonna love it guys, is this big Pikachu onesie thing. It's so big, which is good because it'll fit him for a really long time. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about this. He loves Pokemon so, so much. He's autistic and Pokemon is his obsession and he just almost can't think about anything else besides that. So I also got him socks. He did have one more thing. I, I was thinking this was this was it. So I got him these, these just have different Pokemon on them and stuff because kids can always use new socks. Usually I get him slippers, but I just couldn't find any that were Pokemon that were big enough and not super expensive. <laughs> So that's what I got him for his Christmas presents. Let me show you real quick what I got him from Santa. And so this is just something simple, something that will be fun for him. So the main thing that I got him and his brother also got one of these is these LED light pads. They love to draw and they constantly ask me to print out pages for them and I get sick of that. And so I saw this and I'm gonna use this too for like art and watercolor and stuff. So it's a win-win situation. So to go along with that, I got a couple coloring books, a Pokemon, and then this is Pokemon Pikachu and Sonic. I know some of these aren't available anymore on Amazon, so if I can find them, I'll link them below in my blog post. But if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that they're not available anymore. But they can trace these pictures and practice and something that I had learned about art is the more that you practice tracing the patterns of how you draw, the easier it is. That's like how you learn how to draw. You know, I'm not an artist, so don't like quote me on that. But that's one of the ways that people can learn to draw because they get used to the motions of how pictures should go. And so that's what the idea kind of is of this because they all just love drawing so much. They love painting so much and so and coloring. And so I got them that to let them try. And then this is just a fun little sticker book for him. This one's a little bit harder than I got for some of my other kids. And they have the little codes right there. And then you build a picture for them. So that looks like a lot of fun for him. And then the last few things, this is from Target. It's just a, you know, their dollar spot cheap stuff, just something fun for them to do on Christmas. And then a puzzle book. My other kids actually got puzzles because I found them at Target in the dollar spot, but there wasn't something that was gonna be hard enough for him, but he loves Sudoku. So I just found this on Amazon. It's like this cute little pocket size one. And then the last thing I got for all of my kids, they're just in different set scents, is this putty. And so I thought this would be fun for them. This was from Mindware. I bought something else off of Mindware for my daughter that I'll show you. So I thought these would be fun little stocking stuffers for them and something to, to play with, you know, that's using their hands. <laughs> so that's what I got for my oldest. So the next child I'm gonna talk about is my seven-year-old girl. And lately she's been really, really interested in engineering. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff kind of is around engineering. So this is the other thing I got from Mindware. And it just looked really fun. It was something that came up for engineering that's a little bit more catered towards women or girls. And so this is Mighty Makers, and it just looked like it would be a lot of fun for her to be able to build with. And then the games that I got for her are Hi-Ho Cherry-O. I feel like I've played this game a few times, but it's been forever. I don't think we actually had it when I was a child, but I, it was one that popped up and I thought would be fun. And then a Think Fun game, because obviously I love them. <laughs> So this is Chocolate Fix. This is another one that had been in my Amazon shopping cart for 
a long, long time. So I finally decided to get it. So this will be fun. This is another kind of strategic great game, logic game. Obviously, that's kind of what they sell and what they have is a lot of those kind of STEM logic strategy type games. So this will be fun for all my kids to try. And then the game, the games, <laughs> the books that I have for her by the end of this video, I'm going to have no idea what I'm talking about. So the books that I got for her were the Engineering Academy. Again, these are in my Christmas book haul. So I thought this would be a lot of fun for her. This is from Usborne Books. And then this one I found on Amazon. So this is Gutsy Girls Go for Science Engineers. So I thought this would be something fun for her. It kind of talks about engineers throughout time in history, like women in women in engineering, and then give some different activities they can do as well. And then for the church thing, she also got pajamas. We'll hold those up now. I already showed them to you, but she also got pajamas. But for the church outfit, just in case I don't actually make something this year, just because low on time and I have to find a pattern that I just really enjoy. I've used the same one for years, but it's a peasant dress and it's getting a little bit too not great for my oldest daughter. I had to build her a belt last year because a builder. I had to sew her a belt last year because it just was like she was wearing a big tent or pillowcase. It, it was super cute on very young girls but just it's getting the pattern's not working so well for her anymore so we'll see if I decide to actually make something or if I'll have something already made for next year if I go get fabric and then decide just to save it for next year but this is a dress I just found at Walmart it's down it hangs down here so you know it has the overlay right here on that and then it has these gold dots and so that's why I got the tie that's slightly gold slightly yellow to kind of match with my boys but i just thought it was cute it was simple it was ten dollars like woohoo good job and we only go to church every other week because there's too many of us <laughs> too many of in our congregation and so we go every other week and then the other the week we don't go we watch it from home it's like a big zoom call for everybody so I just thought this would be a fun thing and I saw it at Walmart and I'm like, I'm just gonna get it just in case. I don't wanna make dresses this year. And then the last thing I got for her is new pajamas because she's running out of pajamas. My younger daughter gets all the hand-me-downs so she usually has plenty of pajamas but the oldest girl doesn't. So these ones I think got I got off of Amazon and they're very soft. They're very, very fuzzy, like good winter pajamas. And so I thought those were cute. It was hard to find something in her size. You know, I got it, I think a size bigger, a couple sizes bigger. These might have actually been from Walmart too because they have the Wonder Nation tag. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I'll link them down below. But anyways, I was able to finally find something that was her size. These ones I believe are also from Walmart. I can't ever remember. Maybe I got these from Amazon. These ones are a lot lighter weight, slightly like see-through. So they'd be better summer, but they do have long sleeves. So they're kind of that mix of being good for winter and summer. So spring and fall it is then. <laughs> but I just got her some extra pajamas because she needs some more pajamas. Okay, so quickly her stuff from Santa. It's fairly similar to my oldest. All these are somewhat similar. But instead of the tracing pad they had, I got her a light up tracing pad. It took a while for me and my husband to decide what to get her because she loves art, but she also has a lot of stuff to do with art already. But in the end, I just thought this would be fun for her. It's basically the same thing as theirs. It just comes with a few more things. So it had the colored pencils, it has some blank sheets already in it, a graphic pencil tracing, tracing sheets and stuff like that. So I just thought this would be something fun for her. And then I also got her a coloring book. Sorry, I don't know how I feel about the Little Mermaid being on here. <laughs> the very front, like half naked, but it's all right. Anyways, and so this is princesses as Pokemon trainers because again, my kids are obsessed with Pokemon. This is another one. I don't know if it'll still be available on Amazon. These ones pop up, but then they disappear quickly, I think, because of copyright issues. So <laughs> anyways, we bought it and there it is. <laughs> and then I got her this paint by sticker book that she can do so they all got some sort of sticker book 
And so this one's very similar to the other one. I just got them all different ones so that they could have fun with it. And then all the stickers are back here that they can fill in. And so those are a lot of fun and they require, you know, you have to pay attention. You have to use those fine motor skills. And then these are the puzzles from Target. They, there's a variety. I have a few different ones. So I just picked this one to give her. This is like of a fairground. And then she also gets one of those teeny little coloring books and putty. So hers, she likes bacon. So this one smells like bacon. And then we have French toast and strawberry parfait. And then I also forgot to mention, I always get like gum and then just one treat. That's all. I'm not a huge, like give my kids lots of sugar person. And so that also will go in their stocking from Santa. Okay, so the next chat I'm gonna talk about is my almost six year old son. His birthday and my oldest son are right after Christmas, like the week after Christmas. So I'm always like thinking of all the presents at this time of year. So his present, his like big toy type present is Legos. My oldest son got some similar to this one last year. And since my oldest is autistic, it's just very hard for him and my six year old son to like get along very well and they fight a lot. They get along a lot, but they also fight a lot. And this is one of the things that they fight over. It's just hard. It's just hard for them to understand each other. And so we got these ones so they could go in my son, my six year old son's closet and he could just have his own set. So hopefully there's less fighting between the two of them. And then the games that I got him are Boggle Jr. So this is for ages three plus. So I thought this would be fun for him to try. And then I got Slam Ships. I think this is a math. Oh no, this is a reading game as well. I couldn't remember. So this is a reading game as well. And since he's just learning how to read and do sight words and stuff, I thought this would be fun for him. It's for five plus and it's a multi-player game. So that seemed like it'd be fun for him. And then we got the, for books, Lift the Flap Construction and Demolition. So this seems like a lot of fun for him. He loves, loves talking about being a worker, <laughs> like a construction worker, because he looks in our backyard at all the new construction and I'm gonna be a worker one day. So this game, this book looked like a lot of fun. I can't like keep things straight today. <laughs> and then we also got him this fingerprint game this one's for dinosaurs because he loves dinosaurs both of these books are from us born and so i just thought both of these kind of fit his personality really well and then pajamas sorry they're so crinkly and then the thing that i got for him my other kids got pajamas and socks and stuff I got him an electric toothbrush last year we got my two oldest kids electric toothbrushes and that's helped a lot with them actually making sure their teeth get really clean. And so we decided to get him one this year. So this is the same ones I got my kids last year. It's just the Oral-B one. And so it's not like horribly expensive. I didn't want something too, too expensive. And so I'm sure he'll be excited about that. And they all can fight over whose toothbrush is whose. And so then the stuff from Santa for him is very, very similar to my oldest boys. So again, we have this light pad that I got for him and the coloring books the same ones to go with it so that he can trace and draw pictures to his heart's content and then the puzzle i got from him from for him from target was under the sea and so that will be fun for him and then this is the sticker book i got for him it's very similar like it's the same brand as my oldest son's but this one's a little bit simpler version the other one's geometric shapes and this one has more like actual shapes that you're using and uh, like pictures and stuff like that instead of using all the geometric shapes to put them together so i thought he would really enjoy that and it keeps him entertained for hours and then he has this little book again and his putty right here so his are ice cream flavors are kind of sweet treats they all have a theme so cotton candy, mint chocolate chip, and vanilla cake. So I think he will enjoy those a whole lot. Okay, so we made it to the last child. Whew, we're almost there, we're almost done. So she is a four-year-old, almost four-year-old girl. Her birthday's in February, but I just, she's almost four, so I just always say that to people. So her big gift this year 
is a dress. So I just thought this was cute. She loves to do dress up stuff. And this dress is gonna be big on her, but I want it to last a while because dress up stuff is expensive, guys. It's really expensive stuff. So it came like this. I took it out so you guys could see it. And then it comes with some necklaces right here. So that looked fun. And then a little like headband tiara type thing. And then you can put the braids. So I don't remember if this is specifically like a Princess Anna type thing, but it's just a princess dress. <laughs> and so she could clip those on. There's a little clip on the back, if you can see that. So I just thought that would be a lot of fun for her. She always just randomly shows up in dress up clothes and comes upstairs and she's in dress up. So I thought she would really enjoy that. And then the two games that I got for her are this learning resources game veggie farm so it's kind of a sorting type game it has colors numbers and shapes and oh it was rooted in rest i'm using her a lot this time <laughs> this just time around she's she's making a lot of appearances appearances in this video but she talked about this game and so i thought i'd try it out so it's for three plus and i thought it would be a lot of fun for my daughter and then the next game is this doesn't tell you anything about the game, but I'll show you in a minute. It's a magnet alphabet maze. And so I thought this looked very cool. We have a similar type game. It doesn't have alphabet on it, like letters and stuff, but it's from Lakeshore Learning. This one I just got off of Amazon and it's in bubble wrap, so it might be kind of hard to see it. But there's a whole, all the ABCs are right there. And then you can drag them around and put them where they're supposed to go. So there's a little magnet. You take a across the plastic and drag them where they need to go. So I thought that'd be good for her to learn her ABCs and fun. And then I also got her a fingerprint activity, like the, like the one I got for my other, for my son. And so this, I think she'll just love this. She might make a huge mess, but that's okay. <laughs> she'll love that. And then I got her this game, game. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know what my deal is today. I really just can't speak is this book that's what it's called is amelia who could fly so i thought she would think this was a lot of fun as well and then this is the dress it's the same as her sisters obviously smaller <laughs> because she's a littler person than her sister so there's that again and then i got her just one pajama that she can wear for several years and i just thought it was cute with the elsa and anna and olaf and then, oh yes, I forgot the little baby, baby ones down there were so cute. <laughs> and then I got her some socks because she desperately needs them. She gets so many hand-me-down socks and they are really worn out and have no matches. So I got her some socks. And then let me show you what I got her from Santa. So the first thing is this magnet puzzle right here. Sorry if the glare is bad. And there's a few different varieties on the back. This one is like little people and stuff that they can build. I don't know if that'll focus enough for you to see it, but it also has them right here. <laughs> and so they can build it. They also, I think it has some markers, so it's a dry erase board and they can write on it and stuff. So I just thought this would be a lot of fun for her. And then I also got her a puzzle. I gave her the one with the unicorn in the background because she loves unicorns right here. And the sticker book I got her was in the ocean. So I was just trying to find something that would be simple enough for her. So this looked like a lot of fun. I think the stickers are technically reusable in this one. You could pull them off, but, and then create your own little people creations. They're not people, they're animals in the sea, but <laughs> they have a few different varieties of this book too. This is just the one I chose. And then her coloring book, again, because she loves unicorns, is this coloring book that I got her. So I just thought this would be fun. It has the unikitty right there <laughs> and a whole bunch of fun pictures. This one goes this way, but she'll, she'll like that a lot. And then she gets another one of these books from Target, just in their dollar spot, which is a great place to find stocking things. And then her putty is Bake Shop. So she has a macaroon, a cupcake, and a donut. So that sounds like lots of fun for her to play with and to smell. <laughs> so those are our Christmas presents, the Christmas presents for my kids. And I'm gonna wrap them now because they're already out and I need a good thumbnail. 
we do it for the thumbnail. We wrap all the presents for the thumbnail and then it's done and I'm ready for Christmas. So if you have any presents that you're just loving or that you've gotten for your kids, maybe you're doing something different for Christmas this year than you've done in the past, I would love to hear about it. Please comment below and just let me know what you're doing this year for Christmas, for presents, what your budget is, all those different things. If you're willing to share, I would love to hear. And if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.